So I've been thinking a lot <clears throat> on this trip about like positive thoughts and your mindset and whatnot. And you know, I've always generally had a positive mindset. Like always like, you know, I want to be better. I want to make the world better, blah, blah, blah. I want, I wish, I want, I wish, I want, I wish I could do this, you know? And to me, this journey, this PCT thing, it is really learning that, you know, you, you have to have the positive mindset. Of but you also have to have positive actions to follow it. Because otherwise, what, what good is this? I, I want to be better. I can make life better. You know, that's good. There's a lot of negative nasties in the world and we need more positive polys. It's always good to be a positive thinker, but you also have to be a positive doer. And this is what this trip mainly is about for me, is, is putting, uh, you know, some, some, what do they call it? When you, you can talk the talk, but you can't walk the walk. See, I'm, I'm walking the walk right now, literally. Walking the walk. Walking the walk. So, like, that's just a thought for y'all. If you have a lot of positive thoughts, but find yourself in this rut of something you call life, well, maybe you need to do some positive, you know, doing some actions to follow those thoughts. Like, what, what do you, oh, there's a spark. Um, let's go this way. I'll check on the map. But, you know, what do you want, you know, and what can you do to make the world better? So, for me right now, is doing this and also making my videos because it makes me happy and hopefully it entertains some people or, you know, change their thinking or, or you know, you know, so just, just do what you, do what you really want. And here's some rolling hills for you. Your morning. Hopefully you can see the beautifulness. You know, so really take take action you know be positive but also do positive you know what i don't appreciate i don't appreciate this wind right now but also i don't appreciate when I, every time i'm trying to go to sleep every night right every night i'm going to sleep we'll try and i or you know i am asleep and i wake up in the middle of the night from a bad dream every single night on this uh this hike thing i don't know what it is but no 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 you know what i think it is i think it's my subconscious trying to play some games with me being like bitch please you can't do this and i'm like um excuse me sir or whoever you are, I don't know, you're, you know, excuse me, but uh, I would really appreciate it if you didn't come because as it is, I'm already scared of the dark and I'm sleeping outside in a tent in the wilderness in the dark outside. So if you could like, you know, leave me alone for a night, that'd be great, you know? Um, so I'm just like, you know what? No, 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 no. I cannot let this get to me because I think it's just, again, my subconscious trying to bring me down. Well, guess what? You're, you have a real funny, funny game because I'm not playing with you because, because you know what? Every time I have a bad dream, I get woken up and I'm like, oh my gosh, that was a bad dream. You know, and uh, I just pretend or I close my mind. I envision, that's a nice word. I envision, not pretend, I envision, you know, that I'm holding whoever's that's gonna come for me at the time. It could be, you know, anyway, it could be your mom, your dog, your best friend, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your grandma, who, who, yourself, who knows, you know? And then I just pretend or envision holding their hand and I'm just like, okay, well, this isn't real. We're gonna go back to sleep now. And you know what, it usually works every time. And I just think it's funny because that's just my way of being like, not today, bad dreams and negative subconscious mind. Cause you know what, guess what today is? Yes, today is mile 63 on the PCG. Mile 63, yes, we are on mile 63. And there's some beautiful flowers up ahead. I don't know if you can see them, but they are. So, you know what? If you have bad dreams, well, maybe that strategy will work for you. Who knows? But well, that's working for me while I'm out here in the dark in the wilderness and tent and the wind's howling. Oh, and you know, it's just real scary sometimes. But anyways, can't let it get you down. So keep on trekking. So I have resorted to walking backwards down this giant slope because my knees hurt now. But that's okay. Just gotta make sure I'm not gonna die every five seconds. And step, step, step. Nothing's gonna bring me down. I'm gonna walk backwards if I have to. My mom taught me this. Thanks, mom. Thanks, mom and Girl Scouts. And look how far up that is. Imagine going up that, well I've been up things like that, but now I'm going down, and now I'm going one step at a time. I've been walking like this for about um, five minutes or so, but it's okay because you want to know what? It's, you can take it if you want, if you want to take everything as a lesson from this thing. That if, if something isn't working, you know, walking downhill the right, the right way, it's hurting your knees. Well guess what, there's alternatives. You can be different if you want to. You don't have to follow the, the norm. Oh look at that, we're trying, trying to trip me not today. You don't have to follow the norm of how to do things. You can walk backwards, you can take each step as well as you want, you know, as long as it works for you. And your knees aren't hurting, or your heart isn't hurting. I guess that would be the metaphor in this thing. But there you go, folks. There you go. Okay, I'm hungry now. But the only food I have left is a half jar of peanut butter. <laughs> but it's been weird. My appetite's been so weird all over the place. Like the first three days, I still don't have an appetite. I'm just hung. The first three days, I wasn't hungry at all, and I didn't have an appetite. But I ate, of course. But I felt like I was forcing myself to eat. It was so nasty. And then the past two days, I've been hungry, but don't feel like eating food. It's weird. I don't know if that's possible, but it is for me. And then last night, I was like, dude, I've only eaten like two Cliff bars and like, I don't know, what else did I eat? I don't know, probably a handful of like pasta or something in the morning. I, I didn't want to finish it. It was so nasty. It just tasted gross. Everything just tastes nasty. Except for Cliff Bars. I like the Cliff Bars. Um, and then, so I got three burrito-sized wheat tortillas. Burrito-sized, man. Three. Tress. And, you know, I just stacked those all. And I got uh, a lot of peanut butter and put them in the middle. Just rolled it up. And I was eating it. And it was just like... Because I didn't... It was nasty. But I was hungry. And I was like, you got to eat this food. Otherwise, you won't be able to walk as much. And so I did. And it was gross. And I was so full. But now I'm, I don't have any... 
other food except for peanut butter, but I'm getting some mail tomorrow. There's lots of food and snack food that I'll enjoy eating, I think. So like nuts, like salted nuts or the caramelized nuts or honey roasted, I don't know, whatever those are, yum yum. And then Cliff Bars, hopefully I have candy. Oh my gosh, I'm just thinking about what did I pack, what did I pack? I think I pack licorice, some Fig Newtons. See, maybe I just need snack food on here, not real food, because real food's for, for grown ups. And, I mean, I'm 20, but I just don't like real food right now, like actual meal food, I'm just like, wow. I just want snacks, snacks all day. So that's a lesson learned, okay. lesson learned. Some gunshots, and I'm just thinking about that one part in, in Wild, that movie, you all know that movie, in Wild, where there's those 200 guys <laughs> harassing Reese, or wait, what's her name, Reese Witherspoon? Yeah, whatever, harassing her. And I'm like, I think they're, I see them, they're sitting like under a tent. Oh, yeah, I see them. And that's, I think, where the water tank is. Hopefully they're friendly. I'll keep you updated. I'll send my, my SOS button from my mom if necessary, because I do not, do not want to uh, be intimidated by them. Probably won't. I'm like overreacting. So in just three hours, I hiked nine miles. Yes.